420 means a lot of things to different people, but broadly speaking, 420 is the, the unofficial holiday for cannabis. It's also the biggest sales event of the year. The most widely accepted origin story of 420 has its start in 1971 at San Rafael High School in Marin County, California. We've been friends for over 50 years and we used to sit on a wall at San Rafael High School in the middle of uh, the campus and we'd watch people going by and do impressions of them and, and make jokes and try to make each other's laugh. And that's how we became the Waldos from sitting on the wall. One day, um, a friend of a friend brought them a hand-drawn map and said, hey, my brother is a Coast Guard and he planted some, some weed plants. And he said, these guys were growing marijuana. For some reason, they thought that their commanding officer was going to bust them and they didn't want to get busted. So they decided to abandon this growing project. They said, we could pick it. They said that the Coast Guardsman grew a map of where it was and he had the map, he showed me the map. And uh, we decided, hey, let's go pick it. We all looked at it and he told us what the story was and all of us were gonna get together, meet at 420 and search for these uh, hidden plants. They set the time at 420 p.m. They would meet at this statue and uh, on campus, uh, light a joint, jump in the car and go, you know, on an adventure trying to look for these plants. Uh, so it went on for several weeks and they never found them, but um, they did coin the term 420. We could say 420 is our secret code in front of our parents cops, teachers, everybody. And nobody knew what it was, and it was our little private joke. And it spread to the wider circle of friends that we had. It spread to our younger brothers. It sped, spread to their classmates. So it started going from class to class to class. It started going through generation. You go to college and your college buddies, they pick it up and they're from all over the United States. My brother Patrick was, had, was good friends with Phil Lesh, the bassist from the Grateful Dead for 50 years. Now, Phil asked my brother, Pat, if he'd like to manage a couple of uh, side bands while their dead were taking some time off. So I worked with them uh, touring around California, doing shows, and uh, I was backstage smoking with, with Phil Lesh and guys like David Crosby and uh, Terry Haggerty and a host of other musicians. And we, Patrick, my brother, and I were spreading 420 backstage and then it kind of filtered through the uh, uh, you know the roadies and the people that were hanging out and that spread throughout the dead community and after that the entire world. You know with the proliferation of state legalization I feel like we forget that like in the 90s marijuana was was not okay. Really the term 420 is a vestige of past, like of drug suppression of, you know, anti-drug PSAs. Perhaps the biggest irony of the, this whole cultural phenomenon is that what started as a joke between a couple of Stone's teenagers has blossomed into the biggest sales event of the industry. This year, the legal cannabis industry, um, you know, which is across 17 states for adult use and over 30 states for medical, is going to bring in $20 billion in sales. What's special this year is that it's the 50th anniversary of uh, the Waldos coining the term 420. And there's only three states that have not amended their marijuana laws. So when you think about it on that level, the tipping point is here. The latest uh, Gallup poll put it at 68% of Americans want marijuana to be legal or, or at least feel that it should be legal. In the 70s, you know, that same stat was like, you know, around 15%. It's been 50 years of uh, the creation of 420, but it's been over 50 years of our friendship. And that's the most important thing that we have going here is that we're still all alive and pretty much healthy and uh, we're still friends. We want to celebrate our friendship and the uh, spirit of 420 of uh, friendship, humor and kindness.